60 Sports Seconds is supported by the Davis Law Firm. And now sports. Hey there, hope you're having a good night. High school basketball season is in full swing later this week. Boys tournaments will tip off tonight. District play underway in girls hoops. Over at Donna, the Brave Edge taking on Porter. Second quarter action, Donna's Nicole Rodriguez drops it inside to Monica Guerrero, who scores off glass, much to the delight of the Donna faithful. Later on, they give it to Miranda Sandoval, who absorbs the contact and gets the bucket to fall. Hoop and the harm, she had 22 points on the night. At the other end, of Porter's Claudia Sandoval drains the free throw off window. Donna's defense held Porter in check for most of the night. Late second quarter, Brave Vets a tad bit strong on the triple. Miranda Sandoval recovers a rock and gets another and one finish. Donna beats Porter 60 to 17. In non district action, Los Fresnos visiting Weslico. Jump ahead, third quarter. Panthers on the attack. They swing it over to Lakeisha Saldivar, who toes the line and tickles the twine. Moments later, the Falcons love three ball fly. A bit too strong, but Victoria Hernandez chases it down and drains the baseline. Jay back at the other end. A long ball just off the mark. Check out Ilya Cantu crashed the boards. First try, no good. Second one falls in. Plus the foul. Westlake up two points after the three quarters. They hold off the Falcons by a touchdown 54 to 47, the final score. In the NBA, San Antonio hosts in Phoenix tonight. The Suns have the worst record in the league. They've only won four games, but one of those victories came against the Spurs in mid-November. San Antonio lost by 20. On that occasion, we'll start off in the first quarter. Phoenix's Josh Jackson going up for the slam, but Rudy Gay says, no way, Double J. That's big man stuff. Don't bring that weak stuff into Gay's house. Rudy, a one-man show, heading the other way for the layup. Brent Forbes in the starting five for the Spurs tonight, and he brought his A game. The former Michigan State Spartan scored 14 points in the first half, finished with a team high 24. Spurs win 111 to 86, three straight wins for San Antonio. In a Houston Rockets facing Portland, James Harden pulls the trigger from the corner. It's up and good. Rockets take a 75-74 lead. Late third quarter, now Houston on the run. Former Viper Daniel House tries his luck from deep. No good, but Gerald Green. Flies in for the putback. Rockets win 111 to 103. Time now to take a look at some of the most eye catching plays from the past week in the sports world on 60 Sports Seconds. Here's Channel 5's Dave Brown. A wide array of plays in this week's edition of 60 Sports Seconds. We start things off from boxing. Sometimes the crushing blow is not as evident as you might hope. Here, the knockdown, but take a look on the replay. You're going to see that it actually was something before he went down. Uh, where he was stunned and then hits the canvas. That's a good blow. Football, always a trick play, is always impressive. There the throw is way over the wideout's head, but he somehow makes a leaping grab and then makes an easy toss to the end zone for the score. Basketball and a buzzer beater of significant note because it happened so quickly. You're not going to be able to tell in slow motion replay, but that was a quick inbounds pass and an even quicker shot to get off the half quarter to pick up the score. From here we go on to soccer and watch a nicely placed shot right to the corner just where you want it to be and just over the goalkeeper's outstretched hands. That's a sweet one. From soccer, more basketball and another half-court heave that's going to go and it's going to count and it's going to be a game winner. Celebration time for those players. 